We got Chad Stein on the line. It's your girl, Miss Lacey, from Iconic Chronicles Magazine. How's it going? I'm doing well. How about yourself? Oh, that's what's up, man. We're doing good. I'm happy to have you um, on the line. You do some really awesome photography work, so we're, Thank you. we're juiced about that. What's been up with you? Uh, just making steady moves, just trying to stay on top of the game as always. That's what's up. So tell the people a little bit about yourself and how you got into photography and where you're from and, and all of that good stuff. Well, to start out, my name is Chad Stein. Um, I run Chad Stein Photography. Uh, based out of Fremont, California, which is located in the Bay Area, for those who do not know. And um, basically, just as far back as I can remember, I always, always had a camera, whether it was a film camera, a uh, small digital camera. So I just loved taking pictures ever since I was a little kid. And um, in high school, I took some classes about photography, and that really helped um, build the foundation to where I'm at today. And uh, it wasn't until probably in my early 20s in college that I really wanted to take it seriously. And um, this is this is what I do full time now. What type of things did you have to learn to really grow at what you do and set yourself apart from the competition? Um, just really how to express my creativity, you know, through a camera and a lens, and just just to create a story and, and paint a picture with, you know, just a piece of equipment in my eye. And as cliche as that may sound, that's really how you create a, a great photograph. And just to do that over and over again is, is something that keeps you relevant in this industry. That's what's up. So a lot of people, you know, with talent, especially with that camera, they're, they're like, Shan, you know, I can take pictures, but I, I can't really do it full time because it's not bringing in enough. So I just do it as a hobby. How have you been able to maintain business-wise versus it just being a hobby? Well, building up a portfolio, um, just pr promoting myself left and right, using social social media and the internet to my advantage, and just staying relevant, really, just keeping my name alive, and it just generates business, which is a blessing. That's what's up, and, and I've seen you at a, at a lot of locations. I think the last spot, um, it was an event in Vallejo with 40. Yep, yep, E40 booked me to do that one. It was the uh, the Toys for Tots fundraiser with him and um, Nate Diaz. Yeah, so are artists, your roster kind of picked up, artists heard about you and liked your work and you started getting calls? Yep, pretty much. Calls, um, emails, just uh, dealing with a lot of people in the industry just helped me create a big network. I've done a lot of work with uh, Damon Jamal and Ben Griffin who are two video directors and they've allowed me on the sets of their music videos which have included E-40, Too Short, um, Kendrick Lamar, Travis Porter, Jeremiah, just to name a few people, um, Waka Flocka Flame, Trina, people like that. You got any old school artists you like? Well, you know, I grew up listening to a lot of what my dad listened to, uh, The Spinners, The Temptations, um, you know, some of, the, some of the classic rock, like The Rolling Stones and The Doors, Eric Clapton, stuff like that. So you've seen a lot of cool album covers in your life. <laughs> That's yep. what I was getting at. All right. Yeah. What are some things in order to get to where you're at that you've had to sacrifice, be it time or, or money or friendships or, you know, what what have you had to do to have a discipline to get to where you are? Uh, basically a little bit of everything that you, you mentioned. You know, um, some people that were, were with me years ago, you know, unfortunately, they're, they're not around anymore, but I've met new people along the way. You also have to sacrifice, you know, time. Time is probably the biggest thing you have to sacrifice. There's What a lot of people don't realize is when it comes to photography, it's not just the time that you put behind the camera, but, you know, you have to, you have to take time setting up the photo shoots, and then once the photos are actually done, you know, there's post-production work you have to do on the computer. So time is probably the biggest one, and, you know, it costs money to, to buy equipment and actually create the business, so money is one as well. Right. Well, we appreciate the time that you spent with us, Chad, and we're going to be getting this word out and getting you up on the Iconic Chronicles uh, website, and um, we hope to link up with you soon. Thank you. And keep doing what you're doing, brethren. Thank you, and I really appreciate you guys having me, and it, it, it means a lot to me, so thank you very much. You're very welcome, man. It's good seeing you and good talking to you. Good talking to you as well. For sure.